Hi, Big Jordy Geek here, and today I'm doing an unboxing video for the Army Painter Wargaming set. I got this from Warlord Games. It costs $24.99, and this is it here. So what you get inside is a rangefinder um, measuring tape that does both inches and centimeters. Um, you get a, a dice bag with 30 red dice, six green dice, the marker light laser pointer, uh, the laser line, 24 uh, gram super glue, and a nice little bag. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Uh, now I did do the um, comparison on what this would save you, and you're not actually saving an awful lot of money. If you're buying direct from Army Painter themselves, it's going to cost you 31 euros 95, which works out at just under 20, uh, 24 70 something. Um, but again, that doesn't include the uh, bag. So. So we get there. But it's nice to have it in one handy little package. So open it up, comes nicely. Um, not a bad little case. Leverette. Alright, so smells chemically, <laughs> as these things often do. So open it up and yeah, here we go. So we have them all nicely arranged like this. So the obviously this is meant to go on to, attached to this here. Super glue there dice pouch there that uh, so yeah so let's have a look so range finder that's actually not bad my other ones are quite quite loose but yeah that's all right see how it easily it clips back here little fiddly Okay, so we now have the uh, laser line. Not on, so I'm imagining there's a bit of cardboard in here. Yep, a little bit of cardboard. Thankfully it has batteries included. Now the back does say the batteries come with the uh, the marker light, but they didn't say anything about the laser lock having batteries, so I was a, a little bit worried about that. So do it back up. Yep, that works fine. Nice and strong, unlike my current one, which has run out of batteries. Um, and it's kind of scratched up to hell, having been kept on a key ring in my bag. Um, so put that in there. Uh, the marker light comes off. So again, cardboard in there. Um, so my, what was my motivation for getting this? Simply, I saw it was released, and I thought, you know what, that looks like it'd be cool. I needed a new, uh, I, I wanted the marker light anyway, and I needed batteries for my, um, car, but it doesn't want to come out of there. Oop, there it goes. And I needed batteries, and I needed super glue, and my dice are knackered. Well, they're not knackered, they're just bad luck dice. Um, they will be burned at some point. <laughs> um, so I thought, why not? Give it a go. It's a little bit more expensive than just buying those components individually, but it's not quite as expensive as, say, buying the glue from Games Workshop and then buying the marker light separately and the batteries and new dice. So that's why I got that. Anyway, so... Uh, marker light isn't working. I've taken out the cardboard. I think... Not all the cardboard. This isn't looking good. I've just gotten a bunch of uh, silver crap in my hand out of there. Uh, not sure what that is. Oh, this made an awful mess on me trousers. Um, So I'll try putting them back in there. Yeah, it's like a nasty grey powder. Ah, now it works. So there we go. Um, so that's not the best thing, you know, you don't want to... Yeah, because it's got the powder all over my hands now. Um, it seems to be coming from the inside, but it's not really wanting to do up all that well. Oh, there we go. 
That's made an awful mess. Yeah, and it's messed up the inside of it. <sighs> okay. Super glue, your standard army paint is super glue, which I really like. I like their super glue. Um, I prefer Cromlex uh, thick and thin super glue. Um, except it's an awful, well, uh, awfully expensive to ship to the UK. Um, even though I like it. Um, pretty much because it's the same as Games Workshop glue, except that little bit cheaper. So here we go, dice in a little dice bag. So you get, what is it you get? You get 30 red blended dice and six green blended dice. So I'm just gonna move my keyboard away so I can just put them out on my desk. Okay, so there's your dice. Normal, one through six, no special symbols on them. Um, and then freeze, which is nice to get a separate color in there because obviously when you get a mixed squad, for example, I've got in my Horus Heresy army um, a squad uh, of tactical, 20 tactical marines um, one of them has and my sergeant has a plasma pistol so it's nice to say right okay the red dice are the bolters the uh, green dice is the plasma pistol um, so that's actually quite a nice touch the bag itself is kind of cheap it's a little pouch does what it does not much you can say about that a little cheap feeling as a dice bag goes um, overall it's not a bad product um, the space in this, you could still fit in a few more bits and bobs. Um, not that I know what you'd want to fit in there extra. Um, it's a decent all-round bit of kit for going to any war to play any war game. Really, I think you've got your dice. The only thing you're missing is a scatter dice. Um, you've got glue for minor repairs. You've got your, your tape measure. You've got your two um, laser levels, which are, are very useful these days. And you've got a case to keep it all in. But I'm not going to keep it in the case. I've got a KR accessory, the metal um, two-bodied bit. I'm going to use that because it's a perfect dice tray. I can't really see myself using this as a dice tray. It's not going to give bounce to the dice. Um, <clears throat> so, is it worth it? <sighs> not really. Not at $24.99. Maybe 15 quid. And you're talking... I think you're paying you're paying essentially the same price for everything in here and you're getting the case free it's not a big incentive to, to I mean they say on here it says that you get the glue it says I think it's the let's have a look at the description on the uh, on War of All Games here we go you get the marker light laser pointer the target lock laser line the range finder um, which is the tape measure, uh, 36 dice, you get a free super glue and a free lock dice. Well, let's have a look here. Um, 14 pounds for the two laser bits, because um, they sell about seven, 6 99 7 quid. That's what you generally see them for. Um, two free quid for the super glue. Um, so that's what, uh, that's what, 16, 17 pounds, another free quid for the... Um, and then the dice. Yeah, actually, it's it's it depends. It really does depend how how you look at this. I honestly am um, looking at this, and I'm, I'm not seeing the real value here because to me, I'm I'm, I'm going to end up going out and buy and, and having a uh, putting this all in my KR multi case, which is what I use that for because it has the dice bounce. I don't know. It's a tough one. I suppose if you if you're starting out with war games or your your stuffs that are your stuffs all worn out and battered and beaten and old, it, it might be a decent deal to get everything out all in one. But I think the jury's out for me. I don't think it's worth the twenty four ninety nine. I don't think you're getting really the kind of discount that you would kind of expect when, especially when they say you're getting the free case and free glue, and these bits don't feel substantial enough to make up $24.99 um, but anyway that's that's that I quite like it as I said don't feel it's worth the money but it's going to be useful it's going to go in my KR multi case um, the super glue is going to get used I've got some recon marines to build and a demios predator um, but yeah there we go uh, thanks for watching and you never know, maybe I'll do another one of these videos one day. Maybe.
Thank you. Bye.